Okay, so welcome to another demonstration. Uh, I'm back to the trusty handy cam, so my voice won't sound quite as sweet as it did on my previous um, instructional videos. Uh, so I thought, uh, before I make an instructional video about Event Ghost, I thought I'd give a demonstration of what it's able to do, similarly to what I did with Vox Commando previously. So this is Vox Commando working with Event Ghost. Uh, you can see there I've got the Vox Commando software on a what looks like a very dimly lit projector screen. Uh, it doesn't look fantastic because the main lights are on full at the moment. Um, so I've got uh, a Home Easy wall switch there in the corner. Uh, I've got Home Easy plug sockets uh, that have these Philips Living Colors lights attached to them. There's one there. Uh, and there's another one behind the aircon unit which you can't quite see at the moment because the main lights are on. Uh, and I've got an LED strip light that sits behind the um, radiator over there. Uh, and that strip light is connected to the same um, socket as that one over there. And the two sockets are paired so that when I say switch the side lights on or off, uh, it controls them. So, without further ado, let's see if we can get this to work. Switch the side lights off. There you go. You see the side lights went off. Uh, Chloe said deluminating because that makes me happy. Uh, and she switched the other side lights off as well because they were paired. Uh, so, the wall switch doesn't always work, it works probably 9 times out of 10, I'm uh, assured that that is because the uh, light switch itself isn't very strong uh, with its receiver, um, but it works 9 times out of 10 so we'll give it a go. Switch the main lights off. There we go. I'm having a good day, so it's switched both of those things off. Uh, so with Vox Commando and Event Ghost combined I've also been able to control the um, projector and my amplifier under the bed. Uh, so, let's see if we can get a decent shot of Vox Commando working. So, hopefully, you'll hear me first time. Uh, switch the main lights on. Engaging main lights. There you go, so that's my main lights on, so I can show you over here. A little Microsoft um, infrared transceiver. Uh, so I bought this initially because I just wanted to control my Media Center PC with a remote. Um, and later on I discovered that it got uh, the ability to send uh, out the bottom of the unit as well. So it can send infrared frequencies. Uh, so I took immediate advantage of that when I realized it was an Event Ghost plugin that could send infrared. And I made it so that uh, it would control both my amplifier and my projector. So if you look up here, we've got uh, an infrared bud that just sends the signal to the projector um, and I have the same thing on the amplifier so I can do things like say to Chloe that I want to play on the Xbox and she'll switch the amplifier to the right channel uh, and she'll switch the projector to the right channel as well so um, we'll just try a very simple command now for the projector Chloe switch the projector off and you saw it flash there and it flashed again uh, and that's because it takes two to uh, switch my projector off and you can see that's turning off now magic but not magic just clever uh, technical wizardry uh, and not the kind of technical wizardry that is scary uh, actually fairly straightforward to do so happy to create a guide if anyone fancies buying one of these little RF units they're very cool uh, I have recently also got a Halex that my good lady bought me for Christmas uh, sorry for my birthday um, and I'm in sort of middle implementing that at the moment uh, you can see there's a little bud over here as well uh, on the aircon unit and that's part of the Halex uh, which is actually connected to the router downstairs and sends its infrared frequencies via RF to another little unit which is plugged in up here uh, so I'll just give that one a go, this is all fairly new to me so hopefully it'll work uh, Chloe switch the aircon on there you go switch the aircon off there you go so uh, a fairly straightforward demonstration there of what you can be achieved with Event Ghost and Vox Commando. Uh, thank you and I'll see you next time.